Hey, it's Mariah. Um, today I wanted to talk about the career of child life specialist. I was just kind of turned on to this um, career path very recently. My mother-in-law is a social worker doing an internship in a hospital and she got to work with one. So that was kind of a neat thing to hear about because I had no idea that it was a thing. Um, so kind of what a child life specialist does um, they are pediatric healthcare professionals who work with children and families in hospitals and other settings to help them cope with the challenges of hospitalizations, illnesses, and disabilities, things like that. Um, most of the child life specialists, from my research I saw, work in bigger hospitals, like children's hospitals. Um, a lot of smaller hospitals can't afford to hire child life specialist just because it is kind of an extra position, but many of the bigger hospitals do have them. Um, I didn't know anyone in this career to be able to ask certain questions, but um, Google was fairly helpful in finding out some information. Um, so like I said, the most prevalent place for these um, are in larger hospitals with departments specifically for children. Working late hours is often required, um, unfortunately, because Children get admitted and everything at all hours of the day. Um, some typical stressors is working in a fast-paced environment. And you work face-to-face -face with children who are frightened of being in the hospital and procedures that they're going to have to undergo. And so you have to work holidays and weekends sometimes. And it can require frequent lifting and standing. So you kind of got to be a little bit strong and physically capable and salaries do start on the low end, so it's not a super high paying job or high um, high giving job, I guess you could say. Um, some typical benefits is you get all the benefits that you get if you were to work in a hospital, which is nice. So like health, dental, 401k, health savings plans and things like that. So some of the common job tasks include uh, things like daily interactions with hospital staff and with patients and families. You can coordinate different events um, that are special for patients and families to kind of help them know what the child's going to have to go through in the next little while with the procedures that they're going to go through. And you can provide families members with educational materials and emotional guidance. So you're kind of a little bit like a counselor. Um, but also an educator. So you educate them what's going to happen, why it's going to happen that way, and that sort of thing. Um, the different... So each hospital that you work with does have different education requirements. Um, everyone requires at least a bachelor's degree. Some require a master's degree. And then depending on the state, um, you also could need a certification. And so the degrees that they recommend that you have if you want to go into this field um, was a degree in child life, child and family studies, early childhood education, human development or psychology, things along those. Um, and then just depending on what state you work in, it depends on what certification you would need. The starting salary is actually pretty low. It's only about $27,000. And then the experience salary range is about 73000 So you do have room to move up, but a lot of it just depends on where you are, what state you're in, what kind of hospital you're in, and that sort of thing. Um, the one that my mother-in-law knew in the hospital, she only was per diem, and that's what she was hired as. She would like to be full-time, but the hospital only, I hired her per diem, and they only called her in when they really felt it necessary. And so that would be kind of stressful and hard, I think, for me if I was in this field, um, because it's not steady work, and it's not constant, and you don't really have a schedule. You just get called in if, when you're needed. So I think that would be a little bit hard, but I think this would be a really rewarding career as well, because you do get to work with children, and you do get to help them do the difficult things that they're going to have to go through and make it a little bit easier on them. So that is all for Child Life Specialists. Thanks for watching.